going to share this word given to Gwenda Lomack yesterday, October 10, 2018, and then some Bible scriptures. Um, in one hour, the whole world will change, and it will never be the same again. One man's decision will change it forever, but it is my hand that moves him. My children have watched as their world spiraled downward into a cesspool of sin. I have watched too. You have grieved as the world, which once at least acknowledged me as God, has rebelled and marched pridefully off the other direction. My children grieve, for you know what is coming. You know rebellion will always be answered with judgment. Those who have rebelled against my creation, those who have rebelled against the things I ordained in my holy word, who have rebelled and continually rebel against all that is of me in the world around them, will face a fiery judgment that can, they cannot escape. All they fight so hard to have, they will lose. All they think they are gaining, they have already given up, for I shall destroy it. My children, I have told you to say your goodbyes to the world around you. I have told you to say your peace to those who you love. My judgments are ordained now, and, and destruction comes quickly. When I destroy the nation of America, I will do it quickly. You will stand with mouths agape as they see it transpire. In one hour, the whole world will change, and it will never be the same again. One man's decision will change it forever, but it is my hand that moves him. Remember my words to you. Revelation 8, 3 to 11. And I wanted to share this video I made January 28, 2015. Um, it, he gave me the word, I will destroy it in a day, and two short dreams about his protection and supplying our needs. So in the text box I wrote on January 24th, I prayed about having him share with me what he wanted to. And these are the two short dreams and the word I received. Correction, he didn't give me Psalm 91 and 121. Those came to my mind after the interpretation of the dream. Dream one, my middle son and I were riding down a water slide on a plastic pipe seat. When we went over a large hump, our seat became dislodged and we were airborne. Once gravity took effect, we connected back to the slide and it miraculous, miraculously lodged or locked back into place with the slide. Interpretation, he will guide and protect us, keep us safe from harm. Um, Psalm 91, dream number two, times were hard and things, food, water, first aid supplies, and even clothing were scarce. People were coming to me for help and in need. I kept giving them things they asked for or they needed. Even though I was very low on things, on items, nothing ran out. It was like the miracle of the fish and loaves feeding the 5,000. Interpretation, God will supply all our needs. He will miraculously give us what is needed, not all we want or desire, but what we need. Philippians 4.19 and Psalm 121. And I know I mentioned Psalms thir Psalm 32 in the video. That is a good one, too, for his help. And the word he gave me, I will destroy it in a day. I took it to mean that the U.S. and its destruction, judgment of the Lord, when that day comes, um, but of course we know that the whole world will be destroyed in the end, not just the U.S. He gave me no timing for this word, but we see in God's word in Revelation, Isaiah, Daniel, Malachi, Matthew, Luke, Second Peter, and many other books, that it will occur in the tribulation for many countries at, for many countries at the end of it. Revelation 18 and Malachi 4 specifically. And there's this blog page that I didn't read about yet before I made my video, but I put Revelation 18 and so did Linda Lomax here. And it was pertaining to in an hour or in a day that it would be destroyed. Um, Psalm 94.23, he has brought on them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. The Lord our God shall cut them off. Psalm 119.95, the wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. Psalm 34.21, evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Zechariah 12.9-11, it shall be in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. 
and I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication, that then they will look on me, whom they pierced. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son, and grieve for him as one grieves for a firstborn. In that day there shall be a great mourning in Jerusalem, like the mourning at Adam Herman in the plain of Megiddo. Psalm 145.20 The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy.